Okay, come on, please. Please come here. Please. Oh, I just want to give you a hug. No second intentions, just a hug. Oh, come on. It's really cold. Oh, I know you already turned on the fireplace. But just because I'm an Arctic Kitsune doesn't mean I deal with the cold very well. I've been living in the city where it's warm. Sending an Arctic fox to a cabin in northern Alaska for work is theoretically a great idea, but my summer fur doesn't adjust very quickly into winter fur. So it would have been even better around Christmas instead of the middle of summer. Oh, come on, please. It's so cold. I just want to cuddle you. Oh, what are you even doing over there? You can't tell me it's warm by the window. You know what? Uh, that's it. If you don't come to the bed and snuggle and pat my tail right now, I I'm going to put a spoonful of sugar in my tea tomorrow. Uh-huh, yep, I went there. You know sugar gives me the zoomies, and when I'm done, I am way too tired to move, so you'll have to clean up everything after me. Mm-hmm, yep. So you either come here right now and let me cuddle you, or you're gonna spend tomorrow cleaning up this little cabin. And I know you hate cleaning up my messes, especially at work. <gasps> Yay, there you are. <laughs> ah, now. Just let me wrap my legs around your thighs like this, and my arms around your neck, and my tail around your back. <laughs> there. Now I've got you all trapped. There's nowhere to go, and I'm going to leech off your warmth until we have to get up, or it becomes warm outside. Whichever comes first. Huh? <laughs> oh, yes, I know. I know this is a very intimate position, but I don't really care. I'm really cold, and you're very warm. And so I'm going to take advantage of that fact by wrapping my body around yours until I'm no longer feeling like I'm freezing. Oh, by the way, is that why they sent you? I know you have a reputation for being very warm in the office, but I didn't know it was a literal sense until now. <laughs> oh, well, yes, because, well, I avoid you. Oh, but not because I don't like you or anything, it's just that I... No, you know what? No, just just forget it, okay? No, no, I am not saying it. No, just just shut up and let me take your heat, okay? Just, just be, be a proper silent radiator that doesn't talk. Hey, hey, what is your hand doing there? What? Wait, Harry told you that... Oh, oh that feels so good. Oh no, <laughs> I shouldn't have told Harry about that spot on my tip. Ah. Oh, it just feels so good to oh. have someone stroke my tail right there at the base. Oh. Yeah, because I can't reach it myself. It's so unfair. Oh. Gosh. Huh? Oh, no. No, I, I can't tell you. It's it's way too embarrassing. Oh, my goodness. Oh, hey, no. No, don't, don't stop. Please, just put, put your hand back there. You can't just leave me hanging like that. Huh? Oh. Okay, okay. Well, when people stroke my tail for long enough, it it gets a bit tingly and and it feels really good. And eventually, if they keep going, it feels like 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 my tail explodes and tingles, which feels really good too. <laughs> it's just that well, you started petting me already, and if you just stop like that, it it kind of. You know, it, 
it kind of leaves me wanting more. Oh, no, 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 I am not going to tell you why I avoid you. No, no matter how much I want you to keep going, I am not going to say it. No, I already told you. It's it's way too embarrassing. And and if I get embarrassed, I'll, I'll bump my face into your chest and, and that'll just make it a million times worse. No, mm-mm, no, that is definitely not the reason I avoid you. No, it's not because I really like you and want you to pat my tail and warm me up and have little kits with you and come home with you every night and your scent makes me get all cuddly and affectionate and all I really want to do is climb on top of you and hiss at any girl or guy that comes close to you and... (gasps) Oh! Mm. Yes. Yes, I'm bonking my head into your chest. But don't read anything into it. I'm just... I, I don't know what I'm doing. Just I just know that my face is really red and I don't want you to see it. Uh-huh. Because... Because you're really hot. I said because you're really hot. Literally and figuratively. And because I don't want you to think I'm weird. Well, I think that coming towards you during a work day and going, Yes, hello, I'm an Arctic Kitsune, and I would like to marry you and have lots of children, and I want you to pat my tail until the end of time, please, wouldn't have made you go, Yes, please. I, I think it would have made you go something like, like, All right, please get out of my office and never talk to me again, please, or, or something like that. Well, yeah, that's why I avoid you. Because I'm madly in love with you and and I don't want you to think I'm weird. And and I'm sorry. I'm sorry for, you know, threatening you with zoomies earlier. I I shouldn't have. What? But but you're always mumbling under your breath when you clean up after me. I, I thought you hated it. Oh... Really? Oh. <laughs> that's that's not what I expected at all. <laughs> um maybe uh maybe you could pet my ears? I mean, they're really sensitive, so it's not something I trust everyone with, but but I I kind of want you to. Oh, but don't you dare stop stroking so suddenly this time, okay? It tingles my entire head when you put your hands there, and and if you're gentle, then I'll just melt in your arms and stop thinking for a while. And if I stop thinking, you, you can just ask me anything and I'll tell you the truth, no matter how embarrassing or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I just think that it's a better way to do it than if I have to do it fully conscious and have me slam my head into your chest out of embarrassment until my face is visible on an x-ray of your chest. (laughs) Oh, why not? Do you really want to make me get all red and suffer through that? Hmm, all right, all right, fine. But you do have to stroke my tail while I talk, okay? If I'm gonna have to confess, then, then I want that to be my reward. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a lot better. <laughs> okay, so, so I avoid you because I really, really love you. And, and if I get too close, I can smell you. Oh, and if I smell you, then then all I want to do is just jump on top of you and just nestle on your shoulders and oh, just sit there and just go home with you. Ah, oh, yeah, and then just lie still as you lay me down into your bed and, and tuck me in and then lie down next to me. Oh. Huh? huh? Oh, trust me, it'll it'll be a lot less PG than that. But if I were to describe all the fantasies I really have, you you might just kick me out into the snow. 
I have, uh, I have some, some weird things on my mind, okay? Sometimes I'm not even sure myself if I like how I think. But, but for now, all I want is to just, just lay here with you and, oh, just have you stroke the base of my tail until the tingles make me fall asleep. Ah, oh, yeah, that feels really good. Oh. Oh, and while I'm confessing, I'm not actually that cold. I, I just needed an excuse to wrap around you under the blankets without making it weird. I'm still an arctic fox, you know. I could probably walk around outside without much more than a shirt and pants. <laughs> uh, huh? Yeah, the office is usually way too warm for me. Uh, hey, w why are you taking out your phone? You're texting Phil from HR about the thermostat? Aww, you really are just perfect, aren't you? <laughs>